It's said that 70% of Americans are dealing with chronic stress and burnout. So I think it's never been more important to create a peaceful retreat in your home, a place where you can go to get away from it all, to let your guard down, to reset, to recharge for restoration, <laughs> right? So here are 27 things you can remove from your bedroom that you will not miss, but in exchange for all of that extra stuff that you're not actually even using, you are gonna find extra space and peace, and that is a very worthwhile exchange. So number one is old books, journals, Bible studies, magazines, and newspapers. Why does that matter? Because those types of things trigger FOMO, fear of missing out. When we see all these things that we haven't had time to read, we worry, I'm gonna miss the recipe, the latest trends, uh, certainly important information that I could learn from all of these things. But the truth is we are drowning in inputs. There's so much information out there now that we're trying to collect and sort and, and implement. It's simply too much. So again, if we're creating our bedroom to be a peaceful place to be where we can relax, then this stuff has to go. I would encourage you just to get rid of this stuff you're not using altogether, or at least move it to a different part of your home. Number two is unused exercise equipment. You know, there's the joke of the treadmill in the corner that's used for hanging stuff and not actually for walking. But again, these things are sending us signals. Why aren't you using me? Why aren't you working out? Why aren't you getting shape? You should be doing this. So again, this probably isn't the best place for this in your home. You might decide just to get rid of it or declutter it, or again, move it to somewhere else in the home. Now, I'm not assuming you have this gigantic house and you can just move everything elsewhere, but we have lived as minimalists for nine years. We have gotten rid of all of this stuff and not missed it at all. And so that's where I wanna encourage you. I think you could get rid of almost all of this stuff and just like delete it from your house and you will not miss it at all. Number three is unneeded furniture. Now our bedroom is very unique. This room wasn't intended to be a bedroom. There's not even a closet in it and we have an exterior door. It's kind of weird. Oh, and a door to the basement, <laughs> lots of doors, right? But for our small house, it was just the best use of the space. So we don't have a lot of extra furniture in here. Now we could fit more. In fact, we could fit a lot more stuff in here, but we want it to be peaceful. So we don't have extra dressers. We don't even have side tables and we don't miss them. We keep our clothes in, in the room that's adjacent. And what else am we missing? I don't know. That's probably the, the main thing that's missing <laughs> from this room. But as I become a minimalist, I've started questioning everything. Do I need to have a dresser? Many of you have said, no, you don't. You either get rid of the dresser or you move it into the closet, which uh, it, it fits in there now because you've decluttered so much. So again, my, my hope with this list is that you start questioning everything. Do I actually need it? I mean, we get a real hard time for not having nightstands. We don't miss them. It's, it works out just fine. Now, you might have a couple things that you have to keep on a nightstand. That's fine. I'm not saying this is for everyone, but question everything. Number five is outdated electronics. And number six is all the cords and different things that go with it. If you're not using it, would you be willing to let it go? We're exchanging stuff for peace. And that peace comes in the form of open space. Number seven is an old crappy mattress. Like none of us need that anymore, especially once I turn 40, I'm like, I can't just sleep anywhere anymore, right? And I also realized how important a good night's sleep is. So today's video is sponsored by Helix. They are phenomenal. And right now is an awesome time to upgrade your mattress because their Memorial Day sale is still going on, but just for a couple more days. So right now you can get 30% off Lux and Elite mattresses and two free pillows or 25% off site-wide. Now, Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. In fact, they have over 20 unique mattresses to fit your needs. They have their award-winning Lux line, that's what we have, and Ultra Premium Elite, and the Helix Plus, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers. And then, of course, the Helix Kids mattresses, which we've shown you before as well. And they understand that every body is different, so that's why they have their Helix Sleep Quiz. So so you can get matched with your perfect mattress. You just go online, you take the quiz, it only takes a few minutes, you fill in your answers, and then if you share your mattress with someone else, they fill in their answers as well. We're side and stomach sleepers, and we prefer our mattress just a little bit more firm. We were matched with the Helix Dusk Luxe, and we've had it for over three years. You could not take this mattress away from us, and they also have the Glaciotex cooling cover, so if you tend to run a little warm when you're sleeping, you can upgrade to the cooling cover, and you will be the perfect temperature all night long. And so like I said, we've had our mattress for a long time now. We love it. It shows no sign of wear. We're sleeping just as good on it as the first few months that we got it. But here's what's so great. If
If you're like, eh, I don't know, buying a mattress online seems a little weird, I'm not certain about this, don't worry because they have their 100 night sleep trial. So you get to test it out for 100 nights, over three months. Make sure it's just the right fit for you and if not, no worries, they'll take care of exchanging it. Beyond that, they also have a 10 year warranty and rest assured knowing that they're also fiberglass free. Your mattress is assembled in Arizona and you're gonna sleep so well. Did I mention shipping is free in the US and right now as their Memorial Day sale winds down, hurry, it ends on the 30th, 30% 30 off their Lux and Elite mattresses plus two free pillows or 25% off site wide. And again, for sure, get rid of your old crappy mattress. We all deserve a really great night's sleep. All right, so then along those same lines though is get rid of old sheet sets and extra bedding sets. These just tend to take up a lot of space. We're not using them, we don't need them. We have one set of sheets for our bed, we wash it and we put it back on. We have one comforter and then a blanket for when it's cooler, that's it. If we are willing to pare down all of this inventory that we're managing, it is so much easier to create a peaceful space. Number nine is old clothing. We might be on number 10, I don't know. <laughs> old clothing, so again, if you're more traditional and your clothes actually reside in your bedroom, simplifying them is one of the best things you'll ever do. If we're stressed out, we need to be able to walk up to our closet, easily see what we have. It takes all the guesswork out, all the mental energy. We put on something that fits and we feel good on and we go about our day. That is such a kindness to yourself. And along those same lines, number 10 is duplicate pairs of slippers, robes, other accessories. Um, 11 is unworn shoes. Number 12, unused bags and purses. I have one. I have one bag and that's just, it's neutral and that's what I use for everything. We glamorize having lots of options, but the truth is our brain does not like managing inventory. So if you're in a super stressed out state right now, just try it just for the season. Pack everything else away and just try it. I really think you won't go back. Number 13 is a desk or workstation in your bedroom, if at all possible. I know, like we have a very small house too. I get it, not, you know, you're like, oh Don, well if I move out the treadmill and the desk and everything else, like it has to go somewhere. Right, I understand that, but if at all possible, find a corner of a different room because it affects our sleep. We, we think about work, we think about the things that don't get done. If it gets messy at all, that messes with our mind too. Our brain does not like clutter. And so if at all possible, move the workstation out. We can also talk about TVs, you do you. But I mean, scientifically, it's proven that you get better sleep if you don't have a TV in your room. But again, I'll just, we'll, just, we'll go on. <laughs> Next is extra decor items. And so as we begin to simplify our home, many of us will find that decor actually starts to feel cluttered. So especially in your bedroom, try and highly simplify it. Any kind of knickknacks, uh, also uh, picture frames. So a lot of times on dressers or different things, we'll have picture frames sitting out, but we have to dust around them. The, and again, they feel kind of cluttery. So is there another way you could display them like by putting them up on the wall? Number 17 is gift wrap and packaging. I don't know why, but that always tended to end up in our room or under the bed. So that kind of extra stuff, keep it super organized, pared down, and if possible, like I've said, move it out. Old receipts and papers, those tend to pile up in our room. I know, it just happens. Piles on the floor, piles on the flat surfaces. Um, again, that's why I like to question furniture and move out the flat surfaces. It's so much easier to keep your room clean unused or old perfume. And so that actually has a shelf life. And so if it's more than a few years old, it might not even smell the same anymore, but it's also data. If I'm having perfume bottles that are multiple years old, it probably means I'm not wearing it. Now, I don't wear it very often, so I just like getting the sample sizes now and that seems to work really well, but permission to let those things go, even if you spent a lot of money on them or if they were a gift fake greens. So we've been working to switch out the fake greens for real greens in our house. But with that said, I have some fake greens <laughs> there. And this plant over here is fake. But this one is next on my list because it's by a window and a real plant would thrive there. I really like using those water globes. If, you, if you're like, I don't have a green thumb, my plants always die. Check out these water globes on Amazon. It may, it, it's like gives the perfect amount of water to any house plant and they will thrive. Next is duplicate beauty products and also lotions. So we can tend to accumulate these types of things on our nightstands or dressers. Again, question everything. If you don't for sure need it in this space, let's be willing to move it out. Also, any lamps that aren't being used. Now, some we use maybe on your nightstand, but do you have any floor lamps or other lamps on your dressers that just 
ended up there that you're not actually using. They require dusting. Again, they're visual clutter, so consider moving those out. Manuals, brochures, paperwork. Again, I know how this stuff accumulates. We've been talking in our mentorship group about mystery piles on the floor. They're the worst. And I know that our master bedroom can be the place where we shove stuff. If people are coming over, we're trying to pull our house together quickly. I know, I fully understand that, but look through the piles. If it's not a for sure, yes, I need this and I need to keep it, let's be willing to let that stuff go. Again, we've gotten rid of all of this stuff from our bedroom and I don't miss any of it because the space we've created that is so peaceful is so worthwhile. And also question everything under your bed. So we try not to keep anything under here, but we have to make a couple exceptions. So I have a basket with books in it because we have some overflow books that don't fit in our little cute stand here. Um, we have a word game or letters that I do with Corbin for homeschool and then our electric griddle lives under there. We just have, we literally have no better place for that, but it's fine. It's simple stuff. It's easy to pull out and move around if we want to vacuum under the bed. But other than that, I, I'm not sleeping on to-dos. I've not ever stressed out about what's under the bed. If you have stuff you've just shoved under there, question it all. Ask yourself, could I just donate it or get rid of it? Could it go somewhere else in our home? If possible, move it out. Again, I understand we're limited on space. We're all limited on space, but I think you'll find as you work to declutter the other areas of your home too, moving a lot of this stuff out, especially if it's top of mind and it's a goal of ours, it becomes doable and practical. So don't say there's no possible way, just let it roll around the back of your brain. Our brains are really good at contemplating these things and thinking about them but most importantly, prioritize yourself right now. So I'll link to the podcast I was just listening to on stress, it was on Mel Robbins, but the gal she was interviewing was so just fascinating. And she was also talking about how, I mean, really one of the number one things we can do to lower our stress levels and get really great sleep at night is to get off of our phones. Now I know, we know it, we know it, I know. <laughs> but she said, if two hours before bed, you will go off of your phone, you don't store it in your bedroom and you don't go on it first thing in the morning, she said, you will feel like a different person. You will feel like a different person. And I say, add to the list, be sleeping and resting in an uncluttered space. And I believe that with every fiber in my being, because you know what? We're tough. Our brains are smart and strong. We can handle a lot, but we have to get a break from it. We have to get a break from the stress and the chaos. And so by creating a place in your home, maybe it's your master bedroom, maybe it's not, but finding a place that is your peaceful retreat where your cell phone goes out of here, you take time to fully let your brain rest and relax and, and, and recharge, we can do it. We can handle the stress of the day, right? We are strong and capable, but also we need a break from it all. And so this room, I protect this space. I love this space so much. It's simple, it's not fancy, but we put these chairs in here, I don't know, a couple years ago now, and uh, bird feeders are optional, but I do think putting a bird feeder outside the window, window also adds to the ambiance of it, right? Um, and clear glass mugs, I don't know, I just really enjoy that too, <laughs> but you deserve this. You are worthy of having this type of space in your home. So create it, protect it. No one gets to put any clutter in this space of mine, right? Protect it and then let your body relax. It is truly one of the best things that we have done. And even if the rest of your house hasn't arrived yet, you're still working on it, having this space is gonna make all the difference, all the difference. And then you're gonna be energized and ready to tackle the rest of the stuff, right? So if you need more help decluttering, don't worry, I've got you covered, right? Every single space in your house, we have done at least a video or 10 on them, right? So I am here to help you and to guide you. It's not too late to join our mentorship group and our summer challenge, which is gonna be so cool. Again, when your brain is stressed out, um, you're working back here in the back of your brain, you're not good at making a plan and your inner critic is really loud. Um, and so if you just need someone to guide you and have a game plan for you, I, I totally have you covered. And that is what our summer challenge is all about. I'll put full, full details down below, but I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I hope you have a peaceful bedroom. I'll see you again soon.